Methane is a carbon-containing greenhouse gas with about 30 times the warming potential of carbon dioxide. It occurs naturally deep underground and is also produced by microbes called methanogens that live in marine sediments, soils, and the digestive systems of ruminant animals like cows, goats, sheep, deer, and moose. Humans primarily contribute to methane in the atmosphere through our use of fossil fuels and through agriculture, especially raising livestock. Even though farmers are taking important strides towards reducing their environmental impact, cows still account for more than half of all livestock greenhouse gas emissions, 44% of which come from ruminant burps. Fortunately, our team of scientists from Bigelow Laboratory and partner institutions might just be able to help lower the cow's carbon hoof print with ocean-based solutions. Compared to humans, cows have a complex digestive system designed to get the most nutrition out of grass and other plant matter. In a special compartment of the stomach called the rumen, cows host an array of microscopic organisms that break down fibrous plant material into digestible compounds that are used to produce milk and meat. This is great because it means cows can get energy and nutrition from foods we can't, like grass, but a small fraction of these microorganisms in the rumen are methanogens. The downside is that these methanogens produce methane, which is burped out by the cow instead of being used for energy by the cow's body. In order to reduce methane burps from cows, researchers are working on developing a feed supplement derived from seaweeds, microalgae, or a mixture of the two. When fed to cows, these algae-based supplements can disrupt methanogens' activity. If so, these supplements would reduce methane production in the rumen and instead help the cow retain that energy to put towards milk or beef production. Algae might also safely enhance overall feed digestibility. It seems great, but here's the catch. Will it be possible to produce enough algae to feed lots of cows? The average cow can eat more than 20 kilos of dried plants and grain, or about 44 boxes of dry spaghetti, every day. And there are about 93 million cows in the United States. If we want to replace 2% of their dry food with a supplement, we would need about 13 million metric tons of algae every year, which accounts to more than 26 billion boxes of spaghetti. That's more than double the annual global harvest of seaweed. And that estimate doesn't include the 1.3 billion cows living outside the US. Because of the sheer volume of algae required to supplement the diet of all these cows, it's impossible to sustainably harvest it all from the wild. Algae would need to be grown on farms in the ocean, on the coast, or on land. For coastal economies, these algae farms could serve as a shift from more traditional ways of making an income at sea. While in landlocked areas, it may serve as a link between manure recycling systems and land-based algae cultivation. Hopefully, our research here at Bigelow will help us find a way to reduce methane emissions from cattle while also increasing their productivity and boosting coastal and agricultural economies. Healthier cows, healthier economies, and a healthier environment. What's not to love?